Introducing DeLonghi Magnifica Manual. Description of the appliance, A cup warmer tray. B steam knob. C steam spout. D patented cappuccino system frother. E water tank. F cup support tray. G drip tray. H service door. I coffee spout, adjustable in height. J control panel. K bean container lid. L central lid for the ground coffee. M infuser. N power cable. O removable milk frother body. P removable steam nozzle. Q measuring scoop for pre ground coffee. R coffee grounds container. S grinding coarseness regulator. S grinding coarseness regulator. U compartment for measuring scoop. V ground coffee funnel. W mobile drawer. Control panel, on slash off button. 1 cup and coffee temperature ready light. 1 cup button. 2 cups and coffee temperature ready light. 2 cup button. Hot water or steam indicator light. Hot water selection button. Coffee quantity selector dial, short, normal or long. Coffee flavor dial, for weak, normal or strong coffee. Rinse and decalcify the button. Ground coffee button. Ground coffee light. Decalcification warning light. General warning indicator light. Grounds container indicator light. Water indicator light. Installation. After unpacking, make sure the appliance is complete and undamaged. If in doubt, do not use it. Contact professionally qualified personnel. Packing elements, plastic bags, polystyrene etc. must not be left within reach of children as they may represent a hazard. Place the appliance on a work surface far away from water taps, basins and sources of heat. Never install the machine in environments where the temperature may reach freezing or below freezing temperatures. Check that the voltage of the mains power supply corresponds to the value indicated on the appliance's rating plate. Only connect the appliance to a power outlet with a minimum rating of 10A that is properly grounded. If the power outlet does not match the plug on the appliance, have the outlet replaced with a suitable type by qualified personnel. Preparing the coffee maker, filling the water tank, remove the water tank, rinse it and fill it with fresh water, never exceeding the max line. When removing the tank, the milk frother must always be positioned towards the center of the machine, otherwise the tank cannot be removed. Replace the tank, pushing it all the way in. Filling the container with coffee beans, open the lid on the coffee bean container. Fill the container with coffee beans. Close the lid. Using the coffee maker for the first time, check that the water tank is full and the power cable is plugged into the power outlet. Move the milk frother towards the outside and place a cup underneath. Immediately after, within a maximum of 30 seconds, turn the steam knob counterclockwise until it stops. After a few seconds, a little water will be released from the milk frother. When the cup is one third full, wait for the lights to stop flashing. The flashing lights indicate the machine is preheating. Before the lights stop flashing the machine will automatically perform a rinse cycle and a little hot water will release from the coffee spouts and collect in the drip tray. At this point, the machine is ready for use. Preparing coffee, using coffee beans. Before preparing the coffee, always make sure that the green and lights are steady and the water tank and coffee bean container are full. Adjust the coffee flavor dial, figure 7, to set the desired taste of the coffee. Turning the knob clockwise increases the number of coffee beans that the machine will grind, and thus makes the taste of the coffee stronger. Adjust the coffee quantity selector dial to set the quantity of coffee required. Turning the knob clockwise makes a longer coffee. Place one cup under the coffee spout to make one coffee. Two cups for two coffees. For a creamy coffee, lower the coffee spout to bring them as close to the cups as possible. After a few seconds, when both the green and indicator lights are steady, another coffee can be made. To switch the machine off, press the button. 6. Adjusting the coffee grinder. The coffee grinder must not be adjusted, at least initially, as it has already been factory preset to deliver the correct quantities of coffee. Turning one click, one number, clockwise achieves faster delivery of the coffee, without drips. Turning one click, one number, clockwise achieves faster delivery of the coffee, without drips. Turning one click counterclockwise slows down delivery giving a creamier appearance to the coffee. Preparing espresso coffee with ground coffee, press the button to select the ground coffee function. The ground coffee light will illuminate indicating the function has been selected and the coffee grinder has been disabled. Lift the lid in the center, and place one measuring scoop of ground coffee in the funnel. Once the coffee has been delivered, to make coffee using the beans again, deactivate the ground coffee function by pressing the button again, the light goes off and the coffee grinder is enabled for operation again. Maintenance Before performing any cleaning operations, the machine must have cooled down and must be disconnected from the main power supply. Never immerse the machine in the water, 
it is an electrical appliance. Do not use solvents or abrasive detergents to clean the coffee maker. A soft damp cloth will suffice. The infuser, grounds container, water tank and drip tray must never be washed in the dishwasher. Cleaning the infuser, the infuser must be cleaned regularly to prevent it from filling with coffee deposits. Open the service door, remove the drip tray and the ground container. Press the two red release buttons on the infuser sideways and towards the center. Meaning of the normal operation indicator lights. Meaning of the alarm indicator lights and what to do when they are on. For more updates subscribe to our channel.